Hi guys, and good to see you in January 2023. This is Oleg, your real estate broker with Winnerable Comments. I'm so excited to begin this year with so many positive news. As 2022 is finally over and we move on to more balanced market in 2023. This episode is going to be my real estate market update for all Seattle neighborhoods and all east side locations. And we're basically going to be ripped up 2022 housing market because I'm going to use residential data from December. But if you guys are interested to see my 2023 housing market predictions, you can see video in the link above. And now let's move on to January market update. Mortgage News Daily just dropped article in January 12. We have lowest mortgage rates in four months after inflation data. You guys remember those rates in October 2022 when we have above 7%. The time is finally over. The rate starts climbing down. In the beginning of 2023, we have high fives and low six rates on the market for 30 years fixed mortgages. I'll bring for you guys on the screen Freddie Mac data and you guys can see those lines start climbing down and this is a good news for many buyers who are looking to purchase properties in 2023. I just speak what's happening right now in the market for the last seven days and I'm recording this video on Friday 13. Friday 13. We have 533 new listings for the last seven days. 740 listings went pending in King County and 396 listings sold. Tells me every single day, think about every single day in King County, 56 listings went sold and over 100 listings went pending. Think about that every single day. All right, all right. I'll bring it for you guys on the screen, Snohomish County and King County data only. And you guys can see with me together, we have majority of the yellow color. It's still seller's market, up to two months in inventory. And we have some green color. It's a good color for us because it's a balanced market between two and four months of inventory. Balanced market, we have the majority of big cities like like Seattle, Bellevue, Eastside, East Equestinahomish, Redmond, like South King County and East of King County. But majority of Snohomish County and Northside currently still seller's market. And let's look together closer what's happened on the market in sales Eastside neighborhoods. Currently we have 2.5 months inventory with medium sell price $1,299,000 and decrease for 15% year over year. This is a very important slide for you guys. Only 6% of all homes on sales east side sold above asking price and 8% at asking price. 23% homes sold below asking price. And out of all sellers, 63% sellers have to do price reduction before they was able to sell home. And wait a second, how much sellers have to reduce price before they was able to sell the property in sales east side? You guys can see with me, it's a 5%. For $65,000, sellers have to reduce price. 36% homes were sold less than 15 days on the market and 21% was sold within 30 days on the market. That tells me guys, 50% homes listed selling 30 days on the market. It's really a balanced market because those sellers who did not sell property within the first 30 days have to reduce price even more. This is a very interesting slide for you guys. This is data for last two years, what's happened on sales east side. And you guys can see those peaks and hikes and drops, this roller coaster we see in last two years. But if you draw the line for medium sell price from 2020 to 2022, even with all this roller coaster, you guys can see with me on the screen together, price increased for about 14%. And now guys, let's look closer Seattle neighborhoods data. In Seattle area, we have 1.9 months in inventory with 879,000 medium sell price in December and price increase 5% year over year. We have 14% homes sold above asking price and 15% at asking price. 20% sellers in Seattle area sold below list price and 51% sellers have to do price reduction before they was able to sell the property. People who have to sell and reduce price, they reduce price for about 3% 
approximately 26 plus thousand. 48 percent of all homes in sale area selling less than 15 days on the market and 17 percent home selling within 30 days on the market. You guys can see sale have pretty steady pretty healthy market right now and have high demand. We also have those high peaks and valley in Seattle with this crazy roller coaster in 2022. But finally, this roller coaster is over and now we're moving to more balanced, more stable market. What I see on the market happening right now? Many sellers who think into sell property and think how to price property, price aggressively or price well, uh, make decisions to price well. Because any buyer right now who going to be submit offer for you, going to negotiate price and you have to have room for this negotiation. And also I see right now very interesting trend. The same people who purchased property between 2010 and 2012, uh, you guys remember when it was recession, it was lowest price possible. The same people who bought property properties that time they buying homes right now and we have a lot of active buyers and specifically cash buyers who are looking to buy properties to invest to rental market possibility on the market to invest right now think again same people who was on the market between 2010 to 2012 same people buying homes currently on the market in 2023. And if you are here with me and new to my channel, please consider to subscribe as I'm trying to bring you guys a lot of information can help to make your financial decisions in the future. When is the best time to buy or when is the best time to sell real estate, specifically in Washington state. If you guys need any help, reach out to me. I will be love to be your real estate resource and you can find my information below this episode. With that guys, have a fantastic week, until next time.